Hey, do you mind just taking it easy for a minute and sit on the ground with me if you're open to that before the actual video gets set up? And I want to tell you why I keep inviting certain people into Planetary Healing Club, including you, if you are up to it. When that club started, and it was the idea that I would share information from decades of work on natural healing alternatives and how to implement them. And we still talk about that. It's a private, uncensored meeting live once a week. And it's worth it just for that, to talk about whatever you want, whatever you want, uh, world situation, uh, health issues, consciousness issues, but but gradually because of the urgency of the situation in the world, which I'm sure you've noticed, manifesting as in many types of attack against humanity and life on the planet, the focus is ne necessarily shifting in the club to practical use of consciousness tools. Not to take away anybody's free will, but to change, help change the atmosphere around this planet on an energetic level. And give everybody a boost, a healing boost of energy that is really possible. And it's been proven possible on a small scale over and over again, at least five major times. I call it the five clues. And we talk about it in the club meetings. And they show really beyond a doubt that you can change physical behavior in really malicious, nasty people or in unconscious people, which is most of our population, without saying a word, without doing anything visible. We call it internal work. Now, there's a lot of religious internal work and belief system internal work and spiritual New Age systems, things like that, and they sound good, but I'm interested in the ones that can actually perform. Not a little bit, although the, the ones that can do a little bit prove that more is possible. But nobody has done it. If, if someone had scaled up the operation of those systems like I ne think we need to see, we wouldn't be in this situation, but we are, so they haven't done it. But you could do it. Because you're an unlimited being a pure spirit, wrapped up in this combination of a physical costume that people think is them, and the mind, all the thought patterns and intellect and ways to sound really smart without actually accomplishing any change, or, or accomplishing a change you didn't intend, what they call an unintended consequences. Lots of smart, educated people are doing that. And I admit to being educated, too, in the conventional sense. Um, in the conventional world, I'm called a doctor, not an MD. They'd never allow me as an MD, <laughs> but just a PhD doctor. But the main thing I learned in PhD school is keep your mouth closed. You know, otherwise, they'll never let you out. So they let me out. Fortunately, I made it. It took me a long time to learn to not say everything I was thinking. Now I can do that, more of it anyway. So in Planetary Healing Club, the focus is moving now fully. It's still open to discuss health issues and information. Not prohibited things like diagnosis and, uh, you know, things like that that aren't allowed to be done. And I don't want to do that anyway. Just information, which we're still allowed to share. But the main focus is taking the five clues, proof that consciousness has been used to radically change physical events and negative behavior of people without interacting directly. That's a really, really big deal, you guys. Because other than that, I don't see any way to avoid the annihilation program unless God steps in directly and stops it, which is not happening at all yet. I mean, you can believe it is, but you look around, it's just not. So it's in our hands, it's in your hands. 
and you can't do what I'm talking about on your own. You can't do it from your little ego self and try to become really powerful and help heal the world. And you're very limited on that level, but we have another level we're connected to. That's where God or spirit comes in. And spirit works through people, including you. And we have nobody who's been willing or clear enough in what they have to do up to now to get to the level I'm saying we need to get to, and we need to do it now because of what's going on. We've had a long time to get ready. Most of it we've blown away totally unconscious of our potential. But that's t that needs to change now, in my opinion, see if you agree. Um, so what I've been looking at is how to take the information in the five clues, which we'll go into in the club in more detail, and scale it up, not change in a, a glass of water in a medical lab or a person who's attacking you personally. You can still do that, of course, for the sake of harmony and peace, but somebody's got to do this on a global level and not just saying, oh, we put out all this wonderful energy it's bound to do some good sometime, or it's doing some, point out some little positive things that are happening. That's good, but more is needed. Much, much more is needed, and it's needed right now, and it's in your hands. So aside from talking about personal life issues and health issues, which we'll still do in the club meetings, and you can use it for that and get your good ex good experience through that but for those of us in the club that are willing to which i hope is you we're going to start practicing now every day to change the physical atmosphere not the physical the, the energetic atmosphere around the planet so that the spontaneous thought patterns of the people who are walking around like zombies will change and our rulers understand that this is critical to their program of destruction. And so they're pumping psychically fear and worry and anger and division and hatred, um, frustration, despair, you know, just the idea of giving up. They're putting all that into the atmosphere so people think it's their spontaneous, reasonable thought. It's not. This is not our normal state. This is not anything like your normal state. And it just so happens that to really help heal the world in a meaningful way, you need to get back into your normal state. That means consciously experience your connection to spirit and getting out of the way and letting that fully work through you. We, the title of the video yesterday was Let God Heal the, heal the World Through You or something along that line. And that's, that's what we need to do. But there are specific steps to do that, and they're not belief systems. They're not something to memorize. They're something to do. And it doesn't matter what religion you're a member of, you can do it anyway. And it doesn't matter what nationality you are or stupid stuff like what so-called race you belong to. Anybody, any human any spirit, which is us, can do this. And some of us, many of us, perhaps you, this is why we came here. You know, not just for the momentary experiences on the physical level, but to help change this so that it becomes more like heaven on earth than what it is now, which is the opposite in many ways. So this is why I invite you, because it's going to, I think there are people all scattered around the world, maybe one out of a thousand, something like that. That's just my guess, maybe less, that will resonate with what we need to do. And I'd like, I'd like their participation, I'd like your participation, if you're up to it. But, you know, when you make your decision whether to join or not, Think of, it's not a spectator deal. It's not 
just entertainment. It's not, oh, that was a really interesting health idea or spiritual idea or whatever, and then go right back to normal life. It's not like that. You don't have to become an ascetic or a monk or a nun or anything, but you have to be willing to consciously work on your own thought patterns and emotional patterns because they're what's projecting the outside experience. And this is really hard to accept. It's hard to imagine that we're creating our own reality now. And if we go along with the negative low frequency that's being pumped into the atmosphere by our rulers, and we just go along with that, we're complicit in the result. And you don't want to do that. So if you're willing to work on changing your own emotional state, not by force, because that does not work. Suppression of how you naturally feel has a backlash. You don't want to do it. But there are positive ways, without any stress or tension, to t change the whole program that you live in, the emotional world that you live in mo moment to moment. That is what's projecting your so-called outside experience and environment and reality. That has to change. If we don't take responsibility for that and we say, all these bad rulers are doing it to us, we're helpless victims, and uh, it's circumstances, it's bad luck, it's even if it's karma, which in a way it is, this can override karma. And that, I don't know if you understand what a major statement that is. This can override karma, what we're talking about. But it's so counterintuitive to the average person. Virtually nobody does it to any extent. They do it a little bit and, and get all excited about it. But that's not going to cut it. We're in a much more serious situation. The stakes are really high. In the long run, we'll be fine because we're not physical beings. We're spirit. But it could get really unpleasant here if we don't do our job. And I don't want to see that. I got reminded, you know, because I just went through three months of everyday intense torture on the physical level, and I don't want that or anything like it, resembling it for any of us. So we have a chance right now. We can either go for the normalization bias, normalcy bias that says, look, everything's fine, the fast food restaurants are open, I can go to the movie, if I wear a mask, I can do practically anything. Everything's great. Or we can be honest and brave and say, moment by moment, there are things that need to be dealt with. And I'm responsible for my world. Not somebody else, not bad luck, which doesn't exist. We make our own fate. We're experiencing what we've already made. We need to change it now. And we want to talk about that practically. In a way, it's really simple. We could do a five-minute meeting for Planetary Healing Club every week and cover the whole thing in essence. But to change from your normal <clears throat> way of feeling and thinking that you think you have to live in to what is powerful and gets out of the way so God's power can work through you and transform your body and your life and the outside world. That takes courage to think outside the box. And my feeling is that you have it or you wouldn't be here. And this may be why you came. So that's my explanation of why I'm inviting you. Join Planetary Healing Club. But only after you think it through. You know, don't, don't look at it lightly. And don't think of it as, well, Richard's going to entertain us once a week and it's going to be interesting and he's a scientist and has done some consciousness work and stuff. It's not worth your time to join it like that. It's only worth it if you're willing to change yourself on the inside. You can keep doing all your normal work. In fact, it'll make it you better at it. In your interactions with your family and friends and people at work, those will all get better if you really do this. 
So it's a no-lose situation, but only if you do the work. And if you're open to it, then I'd like to see you in the club meetings. And go to planetaryhealingclub.com. And if you have questions about it, let me know. But it's pretty self-explanatory, and I'm trying to answer the questions in the video. So, you know, if I see questions in emails, richard at lostartsradio.com, I'll try to answer them in videos because I don't have time to answer every email. But I read them. I read them all at this point. And um, I know that whatever part of the world you're sitting in, the United States, England, Europe, South American countries, Africa, anywhere in Africa, anywhere in Asia, China, India, Russia, Japan, It doesn't matter. I want people who resonate with this priority from all parts of the world to join us and do this in harmony with each other. We can change the atmospheric energy of this planet and the spontaneous thought patterns. And I'm not talking about antagonism toward the rulers. This is totally different. This is saying if we do our work, if you do your work, it's so powerful what flows through you. You don't do it. It's not you. It's God. It's spirit. What flows through you is so powerful. You can wake up even the worst of the bad people and imagine what that would do. Just imagine what that would do. Almost enough to make you happy, right? This is what it's about. So, anyway, you've been invited now. Think about it. Don't join for entertainment or momentary interest. Think about whether you're willing to do the work. I know you're, I know you're uh, at a deeper level. This is what you came for. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You're where you are. You're inside you. And you have access to unlimited power flowing through you if you learn to get out of the way and direct it. We can do it. So, I'm looking for your help. We can do this. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you. Now I guess I'll get up and see if I want to do a video. But this was for you. Okay, let me know what you think. Richard at lostartsradio.com, planetaryhealingclub.com if you decide to do the work with us. I'll see you there.